Chris Pearson is the director of the Peoria High School Marching Band. Assistant director is Jennifer Bement. And the program title is One Small Step, One Giant Leap. So it sounds like we're talking about the moon here. The design staff is, music is by uh, Brian Ralston. Visual is done by Chris Pearson and Aaron Abramson. Percussion is taught and designed by Cutler Brown. And Aaron Abramson is the auxiliary uh, design staff person. Instructional staff, Andrew Espinoza, Gareth Amplin, Frank Bucera, Justin High Bell, Carrie Melkin, Melissa Ingram, Jennifer Bemmett. So it's big staff, big staff, bigger band, biggest band that we've seen so far today. The band's most recent accomplishments were an excellent at the Prescott Festival and they swept the Caption Awards. All of them uh, won. They won a Caption, more than won a Caption Award at uh, NAU's uh, Band Day for a festival for Outstanding Musician and Outstanding Percussion. Uh, their thank yous go to the Peoria High School Band Boosters and their president, Beth Calder. Uh, and when we thank them also for their support. Uh, when we see this size uh, division school and having uh, people participating in band this much is an awesome thing. Tough to keep it going sometimes and this is uh, really neat to see a success. Peoria High School. One small step, one giant leap. Ready to take the field? Jim Hudson's waiting for their warm-up to be over before he'll launch the show. Let's listen to their warm-up. high school starts to take the field it's with great interest that I look down at a small band with one two three four sousaphones and a Barry sax this is gonna be great moments are the judges ready in bottom feeding in music Come Come majors, is your band, your band ready, ready. You may begin your performance. the eye of the world now look 
moved into space.
Ladies and gentlemen, Peoria High School. Peoria High School. Walking off the field, and we had uh, this show punctuated by audio from uh, President John F. Kennedy about making it uh, our national mission to get to the moon. And uh, this, you know, this moment in history was followed by a, a beautiful use of silence before the band continued. I, I found myself digesting what just got said uh, very easily because of the way that was paced. That was really cool. Uh, one giant leap for mankind. That was uh, very hopeful, the, the end of that, that broadcast from uh, radio uh, by Neil Armstrong as he stepped down onto the surface of the moon. One small step for mankind. One giant leap. One small step for a man, Sam. Wake up, wake up. It's like uh, that was something huge for me. Uh, when that happened, uh, I was a serious college music student, so I was at a music festival at Dartmouth College up in Hanover, New Hampshire. And uh, we played Mahler's Second Symphony, this gigantic production number of a piece, very hopeful piece, uh, very involving. It's what they call now epic. It was an epic piece of music. And then when that was over, this, the back of the stage opened up to a television screen, and there was Walter Cronkite, and we were about 10 minutes away from Neil Armstrong coming out the, uh, the module, the space module, out onto the surface of the moon. So that, that's how they punctuated the end of the uh, wonderful Mahler performance, was to see a piece of history being made. Uh, there was standing room only in that auditorium at Dartmouth College. It was awesome. That band was, by the way, a large band. One of the things that we noticed was the balanced use of woodwinds as a feature, brass as a feature, and percussion as a feature. Also, a large and integrated uh, front ensemble was used that time. Uh, so that we, we're, we're having points of interest from every band, and this is a tribute to the directors and how they're trying to keep things fresh as we look at a band festival like this and see no duplication and see people's approach to the same discipline uh, affected by the size of their program affected by the demographics and that's always an interesting thing in music it's like it, it becomes cool to take up a certain instrument sometimes so there'll be not enough percussionists and too many piccolo players or there'll be not enough tuba players and and how many people have converted from piccolo to tuba, and whoever thought of that in the first place, by the way. Uh, but that's an awesome, awesome thing, is how, how a band gets to be demographically right, and how flexible the musicians have to be to help get it right. And then the resourcefulness of the band director after you get handed those demographics and you need to bring uh, the art of pageantry out onto the field. Really interesting uh, how they do that. 